So finally I lived and did this long enough. The medical journals are telling you, you got to lift weights. Is you cut your risk of heart, heart attack? Oh yeah, you need to lift weights. You want, you, you want to have uh, strong bones or you got to lift weights? You want to get off the toilet by yourself one day, you better be lifting weights. So that's what this is, compound movements. They are more functional. Compound movement simply means multi-joint, right? So think of uh, what I'm fixing to show you is called a kettlebell goblet squat. Uh, it's, it's not fun, but it goes with this workout that I was showing you today. I'm using a real light kettlebell because <clears throat> I'm going to try to talk and do this. I'm doing this. This is a platform that we have for, to do jump training on, or I, I make clients do step ups on it. But I also started using it to make sure, if you notice, that's pretty low. I've had both hips replaced. So I'm trying to make sure that I go all the way down. And I do this by sitting on that platform. I don't plop down on it, but I touch it. Okay? We did a parallel grip chin. We did a parallel grip dip and we did a kettlebell goblet squat and by doing that we basically worked the entire body if you did this workout you wouldn't do this workout I showed you three times in one week it's one day and then on so if you train Monday on Wednesday we would come back and we do three different exercises and then I'll show you later on in shows if you want to throw in some extra stuff, like if you're a dude and you want to work some extra arm work, you can throw in one extra arm exercise or you can do a separate circuit. That's a whole different show. And like I said, somebody's got to pay for that.